Well hi folks, two days till I go to Harrogate, so it's time to dig a few of the big things up and see if it's boom or bust. I'm going to leave the onions until the last minute because it's just a matter of taking those out of the pots. I'm not too happy with them now, they, didn't, they just sort of gave up growing it, sort of middle of July, so I might have just squeaked a ten pounder but I'm not too sure. But the potatoes have all died down now, so we'll see what we've got there and then we will pull a few carrots up and see if we've got any big ones of those. So I'll get my tripod set up and then we'll have a look and see if it's uh, success or failure. Alright then folks, we'll start off with this one. He's got absolutely battered by green fly of all things. That's what made the, the top die off, so you could have probably got a little bit bigger. All this blooming string tied up. Where are we tied up to now? Anyway, that's a bit of room, mate. Let's we'll see what we've got. I did have a couple poking out of the top, as you can see. There and there, and I didn't know whether that was the same one. So we're just going to go. I'll try to knock them down to one potato. Is that attached? It's going to be a bit of a... Oh no, there seems to be a lot of potatoes in here. I wanted to try and limit them to one. But I seem to have failed to do that. Just ease them out and see. No, oh, I wish all these had been one. I mean, they're quite big. That's really what's what you're after, ones that are joined like that. So let's see if there's anything attached to this. It appears not to be. It's a big old thing. And unfortunately, these two are single as well. So there's three. So if I could have limited those to one, and all those were the same potato, we might have had a monster. But I think that's about it. So... First disappointment, I think. I'll just give it a quick wear. It's not really worth weighing, I don't think. I think I got one last year to about £4 or so. I can't see this being anything like that. Let's have a little wear, just so I've got an idea of the size. £2.2 that. So, not big at all big but not big as far as giant spuds go. Just make sure I've not missed any. No, so that's a bit of a disappointment. Just move on to this next one. Chocolate tops off. I'm hoping that uh, maybe this is a bit bigger. We will have another look. I don't know where the camera's in. It's just, uh... Right, again, I left some that was sticking out of the top. Hoping they were attached to other things. That doesn't appear to be. So, again. Not very big. Bit disappointing, we've got another one here. Is this bigger? That's quite a big one. It's bigger than that one anyway, so we're getting bigger. <laughs> Not big enough. And I've only got one left. So we'll just see how much this one is. I would like four pound or some near four anywhere. 2.7 pound. So we're getting heavier, but not heavy enough. But we'll see how other people have done. You never know, it might have been a bad year, it might have been a good year for. So again, I'll just have a quick root about, make sure I've not left any. Which I don't appear to have. 
so I'm not looking too promising, but you never know. Yeah, it also my fat lady things. So the last one, try and move my camera in. Probably couldn't see the left bit to be honest. Bit of a mess in here now. So, let's so have we'll a go at this one. The last one. Now that's two attached. Start off with this front one first. Seems to be quite solid. That appears to be attached to that one. Hopefully. Which it is. Is it attached to anything else? Oh. <laughs> oh no, well that's not that that's not a record either. I think this is my only choice, this is looking a bit more promising, this is a bit of a mutant one. That's three or four stuck together. And we've got another one here, let's have a look at this. Aha, this looks a bit, this looks a very weird shaped one. Again, not quite big enough. Big? Oh, my back here. Stand up, and I think that's it. It is so. We'll wear that one. I think that one is bigger than the other. Two point, I can't remember what the other one was. Two point something pound. Wear this one. Come on, you bloody thing. Yeah, it would decide to go wrong on it, right? £2.6. I think that's about the same as that one. And then we've got that one. That's £3.2, so that's looking to be the biggest. That one, no, I don't think so. Two and a quarter pound. So that's looking to be the biggest at 3.2 pound. So if I had have managed to get them all to just be one potato, then we probably could have had nearly a five pounder. But we've got a 3.2 pounder, so it's not a total disaster. Quite big, look. I've got my lucky North Yorkshire hat on look tonight. Just give me a bit of luck. <laughs> so that's that. That's the spuds. Big haul of biggins, but no monsters. So three and a quarter pounds the biggest. So that's what we're going up to Harrogate. So we'll get on and see what my carrots are like. All right, then, folks. Onto the carrots now. I'll just pull a few of these thistles out. I've not watered these for a week or two because I didn't want them to, to split out. Let's see how big these are. Put this stuff with it. I think I grew one of these to about £6 one, one year. So I'm looking for quite a big one. But we'll see. I thought they were a bit better than the, the exhibition ones. So we'll just try and ease it out and see if it will come out. Just have a dig around to see if there's any legs I might be snapping off. It's not looking the biggest, isn't this one? It's just looking like a bit of a, a big fat long one. Resistance could be big. 
see the legs coming off. It's quite big. I don't think it's very heavy though. I cut this. I cut the uh, tops off. It's not very big at all, that. Probably lucky to be £2 that, so that's going to be a bit pointless entering that. But three down, three, three to go, we'll just give it away again. Let's have a quick look. Well, it might be surprised actually. Oh no, I am surprised. 3.81 pounds, 3.86 pounds. So that's heavier than I thought. So that's the first one. It's not partic that particularly ugly really, it's just like a giant carrot. So what I'm after is one with multiple legs really. So we'll see how these go. I'll give all this to the horses, they'll enjoy that. This is the one I thought was a good one this has got a top like nobody's business it looks like there's about four carrots growing from one place so I'm going to try and be a bit more careful when I pull this out so what I'll do actually I'll cut the leaves off first I only planted these a bit I planted these about a month later and I did know than I would have done normally so and they've not, got, not gone to seed, so there's probably a good month's worth of growth left in them. But I'm only growing them for, for Harrogate, so they've got to come up. But this one is looking quite a wide one. Pull this nettle up before they get stuck. Ow, which they did. Can you see it? Let's have a look at this one. Now this is looking very wide. I just hope it's as long as that one. If it is, it could be a could be a big one. So I think what I'll do with this, I'll try and excavate it rather than pull it, because if it's got some odd legs on it, I don't want to snap any little legs off, because it all wears something. A big leg coming out here as well. This could be the big one. I don't want to get too excited. This is a long one, this. Wow. That is huge. That is absolutely huge for me. Can you see it? Look at the size of that thing. Wow. <laughs> now that's made it all worth it. Wow, wow, wow. I must be very careful when I wear this. It'll obviously weigh a bit less when I weigh it at Harrogate because it'll have all of its leaves cut off. I'll put it upside down. Try not to snap anything. That feels about £10. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to snap anything if I put it in that way. this a go. <coughs> that does feel heavy. So my record's about £6. 
think I've smashed that. Eight and a quarter pound. 8.28 pounds, so it'll be probably just about eight pounds. So that's brilliant, that. I might even get a place with that. So I've got to be very careful with this. So that is a real good do. That is a real good do. Happy. Happy. So, we've got two more. I'm going to have to go somewhere to compete with that. And this one doesn't look like it will. But it is a big one again. But it's not as big as that. So, the final one. Can you see? A bit far away. This could be quite a big one. Because this again has got a load of heads. And I did this in a barrel for some reason. So what I'll do with this, if you bear with me again, is I'll cut the leaves off and take the barrel off. off and you see is it in shot and we'll take the barrel off the barrel off so then I can excavate a bit and see if it's another monster looking quite promising too. It's not looking as fat though, but it could be deeper because I drew it in a raised bed. Oh, it's a lot thinner this. It's only one stalk. It's well anchored. Again, I'll just Again, it's another big one, but I don't think it's quite as big as the, the big one. So we'll wear this. six and a half pounds so again it's beating my record but not as big as the eight and a quarter one so I'm really happy with these this year considering it's been so hot it's really good so I'm really chuffed with that so anyway that's about it I'll do my onions like I said a bit nearer the time but we've got a three and a bit pound potato there and we've got an eight pound carrot so I'm pleased with that. So that's about it. I'll uh, I'll either do the onions on this video or won't. So if we do, I'll tag it on to the end. Well, that's about it, folks.